Hello, Ms. Christy here. I am going to show you how to do a virtual Bitmoji um, office or classroom, whichever um, you prefer, um, using our um, Google Slides. So the first thing you need is obviously open up Google Slides on your drive. You're going to need a tab um, with Bitmoji. Com. In case you haven't already downloaded the application to your um, to Google, so when you go to uh, Bitmoji.com, you're gonna scroll all the way at the bottom, and you're gonna put um, click on here where it says Bitmoji for Chrome Desktop. So that's where you're gonna click, and then just follow the instructions um, of the pop-ups that you're going to have. That way, you now will have this extension up here. Well, first you have to go to um, extensions. When you see the Bitmoji, you're going to click this little pin here, and then that way it's going to be here on your toolbar. Okay, once you've done that, we're going to need a separate window. Okay, and you're going to need the remove.bg, the so remove background, remove.bg website. And what this does is it removes the backgrounds of images. Okay. So you can upload an, a picture from your phone or anywhere um, in your computer. You can upload it there, or you can also do what I did um, and just use Google Images. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do images here just to have it ready. All right. So first things first. When you're creating your um, virtual office or classroom, you need to um, think about everything that you want in it. Okay, so that includes like floors or um, your walls. So I'm going to start with looking for a wooden floor because I like floor. Okay, I like wood floors. So I'm gonna go ahead and do wooden floor. Right, and then Google Images sends me gives me all of these images here. Now I would like to use one that doesn't have anything else on here. So if you see, there's a lot already a lot of them. See, the, here's the whole room. If you like this one, you can just put this one into your Google slide. Okay, but for the sake of this um, video, I'm going to show you. I'm going to create uh, create everything piece by piece. So I'm gonna I, I'm, I like this floor, so I'm just going to take this one. And I'm going to insert it. So I'm going to copy the image and then go to my slides and I'm going to paste. And here it is. So now I'm going to size it um, however big I want it. So that's kind of right here where I want my floor to go this height, but I need it longer. So you have options. You can either um, extend it. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Right here. So you can either extend it this way, but you see how your boards look kind of. Um, weird or you can just copy the image and then just add it to the side right and so now it's big now it's long without uh, messing up the the board so and it's fine if it overlaps it's it's totally fine see you can't even tell um so there's my floor now i need a wall and so for my wall I'm going to go ahead and put on here, I want a brick wall. So I'm going to put brick wall. Now, Google, I have everything. I have all these brick walls. Um, you can either, I'm like, mm, this is not what I want. So you can go as detailed as you want here. So I want a white brick wall. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to search for a white brick wall. And here we are. So then I'm going to select which one I like. And I like this one right here. So I'm just going to go and do the same thing that we did with our floor. So copy image, move to my slide. And then once again, size it the way that you that you want it. Okay, and once again, it's going to distort my bricks if I just um, 
enlarge it like this and we just if I just extend it that way it's going to really distort it so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did with my floor and I'm just going to copy and paste it to make it you know oops all right so here it is and because it's just a little piece I'm just going to extend it a little bit I'm going to extend both of them without distorting the brick too much so there's my room okay now if you notice this wall here goes from dark to light right so then it does look really weird here in the bit in the middle so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this um, picture I'm gonna go up here with this little um, where is it there's one where you flip it so I'm going to flip the image. Okay, where it says rotate, I'm going to flip it horizontally. And what that does is just mirrors your picture. So you can either flip it horizontally or vertically. If I flip it horizontally, it, uh, it see how the dark is on this side. And so now my bricks here, it looks like they just kind of meet together in the middle instead of having that dark side so now it just looks like it kind of continues and so that's how you do that so now i have my wall and i have my floor okay now here comes the really fun part and that is adding all of your furniture so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go window shopping google shopping for some furniture for our office so the first thing i need is a desk so i'm just gonna put desk on there and there we go so here's all the desks that google provides and so one thing to keep in mind is the direction of the desk so if the desk is slanted this way that's exactly how it's going to um to be in your slide so i want to see do i want my desk to be facing forward or do i want it kind of like slanted this way to create a little bit more dimension into my room and so I'm going to show you what, oops, sorry, wrong one. I'm going to show you what that, that, what, what I'm trying to say. So let's say that I like this one right here. Okay. And it already has a laptop and a um, lamp. So it's awesome. Um, so I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to save the image. Okay. Because we cannot use that one. So I'm just going to put down here. Yes. All right. We can't, I don't want to use this one because if I just insert it like they did with the floor and the wall, you're going to be able to see the shadow and the white background. So I want to remove the background. This is where our website remove BG comes in um, play. So I'm going to upload an image and I'm going to upload my desk image. And the website is going to remove the background completely. Okay. Now I want to download the image. So I'm going to download it again. And now I'm going to go to my slides insert i want to insert an image i want to upload it from my computer and now i'm going to see you're going to find that you have two desk images the first one is the one with the mirror with the background the second one it's with no background so here it is this is my desk now you see what i'm saying about the direction of the desk so i can make it smaller to be the size that i want and i can put it on this corner and it kind of makes the room now look a little more um doesn't make it look too straight because it, it's kind of diagonally, right? Now I have a desk, so I need my my little bit emoji. I need, I need a teacher there, right? So I'm just gonna click on the emoji extension that we pinned to our toolbar earlier on here, and I'm going to choose whatever picture I want. Now, if you notice how I have up here some of my bitmoji with no words. Right. And then some of them, most of the bitmojis that we see have a word, right? Like they have some sort of little images, um, backgrounds or something like that. If you want one like this one with no words on it, all you have to search for is pose. When you pose, it takes the words off of your bitmoji. So it's the same, you know, expressions that you have, you know, with the other ones, like this one was like scary and it has the little face on the back. Um, it just takes everything off, right? So I want my Bitmoji to be saying hi. So what I do is you can either right click, all right, copy image and then insert it, or you can just drag it into your slides, right? 
then once you drag it into your slide it's going to put your bitmoji on here and then you just kind of like size it with your desk so that way you know you don't look like a giant or a minute like a mini teacher you know so you just put it on there that's pretty much how i i think that's pretty good size okay and so that's basically it that's all you need to know so you you can search whatever you want you can search a book uh bookcases a rug you can do whatever you want so i'm going to add a whiteboard to my office and all you do all you go like all you have to do from here is select which one you want so i'm just going to go with this one i'm going to download the image remember save image as I'm going to save it as board. All right. Now I'm going to add it to my remove background website. Now I, I want to um, exit here and then upload a new one. Okay. I'm going to upload my board. It's going to remove that background because again, I don't want it to be like a white on the, on the white brick, even though the background was white, it's still going to look really weird. So I'm going to put download, I'm going to go by insert image, upload from computer. I am going to upload my second board image and voila, there it is. And then you size it to whatever size you want. All right. And now you treat it just like um, you would do anything else. So I'm going to put on here sign in right because i want in my office i want the teachers to sign in to um our meetings so i'm going to make it a 24 and then i'm going to put a bold and i'm going to go to this little link here just like you would i'm going to add a link to it and i'm going to add a link to a form that i've already created on google okay so on my on my drive i've already created a signing sheet form that i did so um on my drive so i'm gonna go as if i'm gonna send it like if i'm gonna share with people i'm gonna click on send did i'm gonna click um the link here because i want to get this link i'm gonna highlight right click copy i'm going to go back to my slides and remember we have this one right here i am going to paste that link i'm going to apply and now when you view this in present mode when the teachers click on that link on this sign in I, they're going to click on it and it's going to automatically take them to your signing form so there it is and they get to sign in and so that's how you do a link and you can do a link for whatever you want. So let's see, I'm going to add another text. Now, um, the links can only be added to text. So on here, I am going to type in video. All right. So if I have a video that I want to show the teachers or anything like that, um, on YouTube, so let's say that you find a really cool video. So I'm going to put video, I'm going to highlight it again. Okay. And then you're going to go to this link here and then you can put in YouTube link. You can do, um, any kind of link that you want, any other website that you want to take them to. If it's Flipgrid, you can put the, uh, the Flipgrid, um, link here. If it's Schoology, you can put in the link wherever you want to take your teachers. You just type in a word, um, and then put the link to the, the website. Okay. That you want, where you want to take them. So um, I hope this helps. Have fun with it. Again, you, you get to go and shop for whatever you want. So my actual office, uh, virtual office, uh, looks a little different from what I showed you right now, but I'll show you what I have. So um, this is my virtual office. So you can get as creative as you want. So this one... I have, I even have my curate because I'm a, a huge coffee lover. Um, I have my little hand sanitizer. I put in my mask. I put in some little um, personal details 
Um, I've also have like this link to a YouTube video of uh, Matt De La Pena reading his book. I have several forms that I've already linked here. Um, so enjoy, get as creative as you want and don't forget to share with me.